Hello my friends, today we are going to the horse farms in the United States to see how the process of raising millions of horses here happens. The first horses are said to have appeared in America in around 1493 and they were brought there by Christopher Columbus from Spain. Until the 1920s, horse numbers in the United States have considered to have peaked at about 25.3 million. According to the latest USDA statistics, as of June 2022, the current number of horses in the country is about 9.2 million and their number of licensed horse farms is about 459,000 of various sizes. In addition to the millions of horses managed by ranchers, in the United States, there are about 87,000 wild horses living in the wild, and they are concentrated mainly in states like Nevada, Arizona, California, and Colorado. It is estimated 23,000 ponies are born in the United States each year, based on reports from horse ranchers. On average, each newborn foal weighs about 110 pounds and they can stand up almost immediately after birth. Currently, Texas is the state with the largest number of horses in the country, with 939,000 horses. The next place on the list is California with 650,000 followed by Florida with 505,000. After birth, the foals will live on the farm for about three days with their mothers before they are released into the pastures to run around freely. A foal needs to suckle 25 to 35 pounds of milk each day, equivalent to 30% of their body weight. This is a herd of horses in Nevada. Every morning, they will be released to the pastures by the ranch owner to feed freely and all ponies over three days old will also be accompanied by their mothers. Currently in Nevada, there are about 78,000 horses raised on more than 3,000 farms of different sizes. In addition to thousands of horses managed by ranchers, Nevada is also famous for the largest number of wild horses in the country, with about 42,000 horses, accounting for about 50% of the wild horse population in the country. This is a wild mare from Nevada. Look how she protects her young. A mare will not let any mature horses near her foal for the first two days. For the safety of the foal, the mare will attack anyone who poses a danger to the foal, even if those are healthy stallions. In the wild, there have been many cases of ponies being trampled to death by another herd of horses when its mother is not healthy enough to protect it. Currently, the most popular wild horse breed in the United States is the Mustang, which makes up about 63% of the nation's wild horse population. This is a horse ranch in Denton County, Texas. In the late afternoon, cowboys will herd horses into a fenced area to rest and avoid the attack of some predators at night. Currently, Denton County is also the largest concentration of horses in Texas, 
with 372 farms and more than 300,000 horses. Currently, most horse breeds raised in the United States weigh about 800 pounds for females and 1,100 pounds for males. The breeding season for horses usually runs from February to the end of May, and this happens with both wild horses and farm-raised herds. During the breeding season, the stallions in the herd will fight each other very fiercely for the right to mate with the mares. With their kicks, strong stallions can seriously injure an opponent. Even the losing stallions may have to leave the herd and join another. And this is the prize for the healthiest stallion in the herd. It will get to mate with all the mares in the herd. In the wild, wild horses usually live in herds of 5 to 19 individuals and the number of stallions in the herd is usually one to four. This is a herd of horses living in the city of Norco, California. Each day, dozens of horses here are also released by herders into the pasture to feed. Every day, an adult horse needs to be fed an equivalent of 2% of their body weight. Of that 90% of the feed the horse uses is grass and the rest is a mixture of corn and soybeans that is fed when they return to the farm. Currently in California approximately 2.5 million acres of land is used for grazing horses in which there are about 8,300 wild horses accounting for 1.2% of the state's horse population. Each day, these horses will move to the area of rivers and small lakes to drink water twice in the late morning and late afternoon. On average, a mature horse will drink about seven to 10 gallons of water per day. This is the process of moving a large herd of horses in northwestern Colorado. The end of April every year is when the cowboys here will move about 2,000 horses to other pastures to feed. Currently, in Colorado, there are about 256,000 horses, and the number of wild horses in this state is about 1850. Horses are considered fully mature when they reach five years of age, and the average lifespan of this animal is about 23 years. Currently, the majority of mature horses will be sold to jockeys. In addition, they will also be trained by cowboys to follow herds of cattle. A small number of horses in the United States are still sold to illegal slaughterhouses. Although the slaughter of horses for food has been banned across the country. Hello, my friends. 
Today, we are going to bison farms in the United States to see how the process of raising tens of thousands of bison happens. Currently, about 359,000 bison are raised as livestock on farms in South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, and Oklahoma. In addition, in the United States, there are about 31,000 wild bison being preserved in national parks. In particular, Yellowstone National Park is the most famous place when it comes to this animal. And here, there are about 5,300 wild bison living. After about 283 days from mating, the female bison at this farm have begun to breed. The reproductive process of these female bison usually lasts only one hour. Each year in the United States, about 113,000 bison calves are born, and about 2% of them will die in the process of birthing. Calves here when they're born, average at about 55 pounds, about 30% heavier than wild bison calves. On these farms, calves will live with their mothers for seven months before weaning. According to statistics in 2021, in the United States, there are 513 bison farms distributed across the country with different sizes. In particular, South Dakota is the state with the largest number of farms, with 104, and accounts for 24% of the number of bison raised in the country. In addition to South Dakota, Nebraska is also the state with many bison farms and is ranked second in the list of states with the most bison farming, with about 23,000. In the next positions are Montana with 11,000, followed by Colorado with 10,000, and Oklahoma also with 10,000. Every day, herders will herd bison into the grasslands so that they can freely feed. The calves will also be eating with their mothers and they are all protected by their hedges that surround the pasture area. Female bison are considered fully mature when they reach two and a half to three years of age. Meanwhile, bulls are only considered mature and are mated by ranchers when they reach four to five years old. Currently, up to 85% of bison in the United States are raised free range. About 15% are kept on small scale farms. This is an Oklahoma ranch that is home to 167 adult bison and 53 calves. Currently, there are 57 bison farms in Oklahoma, concentrated mainly in the area bordering the state of Missouri. About 1,300 bison are slaughtered in Oklahoma each year. In addition to being free to graze, farm-raised bison are also supplemented with other foods such as corn and grain in pellet form. A full grown bison has an average weight of 1,800 pounds and females average a weight of 960 pounds. Every day, each bison here needs to eat an amount equivalent to 3% of their body weight. When the pastures around the farm are in the process of being restored, the workers here will use dry straw to feed the bison herd. This is a bison farm with 75 cows in Colorado. According to the information that this ranch owner shared, each year the bison here eat 127,000 pounds of dry straw, equivalent to about 2,300 bales. During the breeding season, the bulls will fight fiercely with each other for the right to mate with the female bison in the herd. 
The mating season of the bison usually begins in June and lasts until the end of September. A male bison can mate with many female bison. However, female bison choose only one male bison to mate with during their lifetime. This is a herd of bison with about 55 heads in Montana. In the late afternoon, they will be herded into the captivity area by breeders to avoid attacks by wolves at night. According to statistics in 2021, there are 62 bison farms in Montana and about 1,400 bison are slaughtered each year in this state. About every six months, the bison raised on the farms will be medically examined and vaccinated. These herders are herding the bison into a metal cage before the health and weight checks take place. Just imagine how many people we would need to hold a bison without this cage. Here's what's going on at a cattle market in Missouri. Hundreds of bison were transported here for auction before they were slaughtered. These bison will be kept in different cages and waiting for their turn to be auctioned. Each barn will hold between five and eight bison. Here's what goes on inside the auction area. Currently, the price for a two-year-old bison is between $3,500 and $7,000. This price depends on many factors such as their appearance, origin, and level of purebred. Approximately 20,300 bison are slaughtered in the United States each year, and the livestock industry generates an estimated $384 million in revenue. <laughs>